When the air reaches the venturi, two things happen. The velocity increases and there are less molecules within the venturi. This means that both the pressure and the temperature decrease, creating a pressure differential between the discharge nozzle and the fuel in the float chamber, which is open to atmospheric pressure. This pressure differential forces fuel to flow from the float chamber, through the main jet and out through the discharge nozzle. This fuel is atomized by the bleed air, which is under atmospheric pressure, just before it is sucked out through the discharge nozzle. This minimizes the size of the droplets in order to aid combustion. As the fuel is taken from the float chamber, the level drops. When this occurs, the float drops and allows the needle to move off its seat to allow more fuel to enter the float chamber. When the fuel rises to the required level, the float pushes the needle onto its seat and prevents more fuel entering the float chamber until the level drops again. This controls the level of the fuel in the float chamber to ensure there is a constant vertical distance between the fuel in the float chamber and the discharge nozzle, thus ensuring that the fuel flow is only determined by the size of the main jet and the pressure difference between the float chamber and the discharge nozzle. If the throttle is opened, the velocity of the air passing through the venturi increases and therefore the pressure decreases and the fuel flow increases. When the throttle is opened slowly, the fuel flow increases with the airflow and the poppet valve remains seated to prevent additional fuel flow when it is not required. However, if the throttle is opened rapidly, the droplets of fuel, being heavier, don't accelerate as fast, which leaves a lean mixture until the fuel catches up. So the fuel within the accelerator pump pushes the poppet valve off its seat and adds fuel into the airstream. If the throttle is closed, less air passes through the venturi and therefore it doesn't need to accelerate in order to pass through it. This means that no fuel will flow through the discharge nozzle which is higher than the fuel level in the float chamber. Because of the small throttle opening, there is a substantial increase in the velocity of the air as it passes through this small opening. So another discharge port is situated here to provide the fuel for idle. To shut the engine down, the mixture control is moved into idle cutoff, which stops the fuel flow to both the main jet and the idle jet.